If you've watched Rings of Power, you have seen these epic landscapes. I'm going to show you how to create your own epic landscapes with the help of AI. The software we're going to use is called Midjourney. It's a text-to-image AI which allows you to create images by writing text into a box. Pretty crazy, right? It runs on a Discord bot, so you have to join a server that has the bot enabled. I'll leave a link to the server I use in the description, and if you haven't used Discord before, I'll leave a link to that as well. First, to generate an image with Midjourney, there is a structure we need to follow. Each text prompt has a structure of subject, details, style, and parameters. You choose a subject you want to see, add the details to it, and pick the style you want. We won't focus on parameters too much, as we will only use one, V4. Okay, let's start building our image. Let's start very simple. I don't have a specific landscape in mind, so I will write a basic prompt. Epic fantasy landscape, epic scene, grand scene, sunlight, volumetric light, V4. This will generate four images for me to choose from. I like the first one. I want to add more elements to it, like eagles. To do that, I will use the remix function of Midjourney. To access it, you can write slash remix into the bot, or turn it on in settings, which you can access with slash settings. Once remix is turned on, I press the V1 button, which will create variations of the first image. I add the details to the prompt. Epic fantasy landscape, eagles flying in the sky, epic scene, grand scene, sunlight, volumetric light, V4. Got some eagles now. The lighting is too strong for me, so I'll remove volumetric lighting from the prompt. I will upscale the image I like with the U buttons and save it. Alright, I got my first fantasy landscape. But what if I want a different one? Let's get more specific with our vision. And I'm gonna go straight for Mount Doom. I will add a lot more details to this image. Giant volcano mountain, cloudy skies, smog, smoke, burned ground, cinch trees, death, grey atmosphere, apocalypse, epic scene, grand scene, and include a cinematic style to it with camera lenses and resolution details. Wide angle lens, 24mm, 64K, highest resolution, V4. Again, we get four images. I like the fourth one, so I'll modify it a bit more. I will add lava flowing on the ground, Cinematic lighting, dark lighting, dark colors, and high contrast to my prompt. Honestly, all of these look pretty good to me. I could keep going and modify my image more, but I'm gonna upscale the third one and move on to my third landscape. So now I have two landscapes. First one is unrelated to anything and is just exploring the worlds inside my mind. Second one is an attempt to recreate Mount Doom from Lord of the Rings. It's close, but let's try to get even closer by using a reference image for my third landscape. I'll use this image of Numenor to create my own scene. I'll copy the address and add my prompt to it. I will describe the main things I want to see. Beautiful white city, statue, reaching out hand, sea bay, bridges, beautiful buildings, Epic scene, grand scene, soft lighting, cinematic lighting, wide angle lens, V4. And I get this. I like the second one, but the lighting is too strong and I want to see more of the statue. Once again, I'll modify the prompt using the remix function. Full body statue, obscured lighting. I'll stop here again, but you can keep going. Adding and removing details as you want. You get the idea by now. Midjourney is an incredibly powerful tool for creative expression. This is just one way to explore its possibilities. You can use it for portraits, creatures, materials, architecture, anything you can possibly imagine. If you want to dive deeper into this, I'll leave some links in the description below, and I hope you'll start creating. We have the tools that can help you express your imagination with ease. If you found this video useful, give it a like. I'll be making more videos on how to create with AI, so subscribe if you want to see them. You can start by watching videos here. Keep creating, and don't forget to have fun. See you soon.